everybody. Welcome to Shred Class. I am Coach Des. Uh, today we're going to be doing back and biceps progressive. It's a little bit different of a workout than we typically do. Um, you're going to need a bench, something to lay on if you have it. Um, also a barbell. And we're going to be adjusting our weights, going from light and then adding a little bit of weight each time. So if you have a barbell and you can, um, I have some little weights here that you can add each round. That's perfect. Or if you have an assortment of dumbbells, I'll show you how to do the workout with a dumbbell as well. And you can just use, just have um, different size dumbbells from light to heavy because you're going to want to challenge yourself. All right, let's get warmed up. Start your watches. All right, little jog in place. Doing a lot of upper body today, but we'll still get our heart rate up. Good. Do some jumping jacks. Good. Let it up. Sorry, arm circles. Go backwards first. Nice and wide. Open up those shoulders and forward. Good job. Do some cross body swings. So just swing your arms back and forth. Good. Let's go through that one more time. A little jog in place. Roll it into some jumping jacks. Good. Arm circles. We're going to be doing progressive sets today. So. What that means, do some cross body swings right now. Um, we're gonna do the most reps that are lightest weight and then add weight but drop the reps a little bit. This is all rep based. Good job, let's stretch our shoulders out. Good, so our first one we're gonna be doing just our, our deadlift. So we're gonna have our grip, so if you have dumbbells I'll show you that you're just gonna hold them like you would a bar and our regular hinging at the hip dead lifting up okay you want them to be your hands to be just outside your knee so not too not too close together but and then hinge up okay so start with the low weight we're gonna do 15 reps nice and slow then we're gonna go to 12 8 and 8 so we're gonna add weight each round. So if you have the barbell, the same, hold it. Natural, uh, with your hands just outside your knees. We are, let me show you from the side, hinging down and back up, okay? 15. Okay, nice and slow down. So here we go, 15 of them. Down at the hips and up. Good, nice and slow down. Back up. This is four, five, nice and slow down, and back up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. Good. So, next set, next set, we're going to be doing 12. So, add a little bit of weight. You want it to be challenging. So, grab heavier dumbbells. 
or add a little weight onto your barbell. So you're gonna wait a little bit in between rounds so we have the strength to do it again. Adjust as needed. It's better to go a little bit heavier than to go too light. It gets too heavy while you're doing it. You can always drop down. All right. Same thing, but this time we're doing 12 reps. Get into position. Remember, here's a side view. Hinging at your hips. Tuck your tummy in. Head up. And, okay. Here we go, 12 of them. Keep your back flat, head up, and tummy tight. That's three, four, five, six, we're halfway. Seven, nice and slow down. Eight, nine, 10, 11, good, 12, add more weight, gonna do eight reps next time, so we are adding weight each time, we're gonna be sticking with this same thing for the other exercises as well. So we're gonna progress in each of the exercises every, every time we go up. So now we're gonna do two sets of eight. All right, here we go. Give it a few more seconds. Wanna make sure we have enough rest in between rounds that we can do it again. All right, same thing. We're doing eight of them. Natural grip. Hinge up the hips and back up. Keep your head up. Back flat, tummy tight. seven and eight good we're just gonna do one more set of eight at our heaviest weight here we go give it another second if you felt that that was too light and you want to add some more this is the time to do it or grab some heavier dumbbells here we go. Another set of eight. Engine at the hips. Good. One, two. Nice and slow down. Three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Eight. Awesome job. Good job. So we're gonna do the same thing for the next exercise, but we're doing a bent over row with a supinated grip. So our palms are gonna be facing out when we grab the barbell. So adjust your weight as needed. It's the same with the dumbbells, okay? Instead of holding them like this for our bent over row, like we normally do, we're gonna hold them with our palms out. Bend over and rolling, okay? Same thing with the dumbbells. Add, adjust the weight each round. So if you're using the bar, you can start with your beginner weight again. Okay, so we are gonna do 15, 12, 8, 8. Remember, palms are facing out, okay? We are hinging at the hips, doing our bent over row, pulling it towards our chest, okay? Here we go, 15 of them. 
Make sure your palms are out. Elbows tucked in, pulling it up. Keep your tummy tight. Good. This is eight, nine, ten. Nice and slow down. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Drop the weight. Take a break. Add your weight for your next one. This is going to be for twelve. You want to go a little bit heavier. We're doing less reps. Gonna give it another 30 seconds and we will start with our 12 reps. Almost there. Same thing, palms facing out. Hinging at the hips, completely bent over row. Rowing in. Trying to keep our elbows tucked in, okay? We don't want to be like that, rowing in. Which is easier with the barbell versus the dumbbell. The dumbbell, you have to be more controlled, okay? So, grab your, your barbell or your dumbbell. Feet shoulder width apart, bend over, let's do 12. One, two, nice and slow down. Good. Just five, nice and slow down. I'm under tension. Ten, two more. Eleven, nice and slow down. And twelve. Good job. Add weight again. We are lowering our reps. So we are going to add more weight. Gonna wait it out and again. Get a sip of water. You're gonna do eight and then another set of eight of these. All right, here we go. Remember, palms facing out when you grab it. Bend over. Do eight. Roll it in. One, nice and slow down. Two, that's three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight, good. I'm gonna do another set of eight of these. If you need to go a little heavier, you can do that. Eight more here. Then we will be moving on to our bicep curls. All right, let's get back down there. Palms out for your grip. Okay, hold it. Bend over, roll it up. Nice, slow and controlled movement down. That's three, four, five, six, seven, one more. Nice, slow and controlled. Eight. Awesome job. We're moving to our standing barbell bicep curl. If you have to use dumbbells, it is the same concept. You're going to be standing. Bicep curls, 15, 12, 8, 8. So you're going to want to adjust your weights heavier each time. So if you're using your barbell, take off your weights again. Okay, so same, same thing. Basic. 
standing bicep curl, okay? So we're gonna do 15 of these. All the way up, slow and controlled down. That's one. Slow and controlled, two, three, that's four, up, nice and slow down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, five more, nice and slow and controlled down. 11, 12, 13, 14, one more. Slow and controlled, 15, good job. Add weights for your set of 12. Grab heavier dumbbells if you need it. We will give this a few more seconds before we start our set of 12. All right, here we go. Let's do 12 of them. Same thing. Low and controlled down, okay? One. Good. Two. Three. One, two, three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. This is 10, two more. 11, should be starting to really burn. And 12. All right, add weight again. Wanna go heavier for our eight. Two sets of heavy eight. All right, get a sip of water. Wait about another 15, 20 seconds. Make sure we're ready for the next round. This should be your heaviest. So it should be, should be pretty challenging. If you're not feeling the burn, you need to add weight. Grab bigger dumbbells. All right, here we go. Pick it up, let's do eight of them. Slow and control, about three seconds down. Good. Three. This is four. Should be burning. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Good. Drop our weight. Remember, that should be difficult. Those last couple should have been tough. If they were not, add weight for our last eight. If it's not challenging, you're not tearing down that muscle. We have eight more to go. Give it a few more seconds. Let us get ready to do it one more time. All right, we're almost there. Let's do one more set of eight. Here we go. Nice and slow down. One, two, three. Three seconds down. This is two. Three. Four. 
five. Should be challenging. Six. This is seven. One more. Eight. Slow and controlled all the way down. Awesome job. Woo. All right, for our next exercise, you are going to just need dumbbells. We are doing more bicep curls. We're gonna do kneeling bicep curls. So grab a set of dumbbells. It's the same thing. You're going to want to adjust your weight each time. So grab an assortment of dumbbells that you need. All right, so we are gonna be doing our kneeling bicep curl. So we're gonna be down on one knee and leaning a little bit forward, okay? I'm gonna scoot back a little. So down on one knee, leaning into it. I'll show you from the side. Down on one knee, but leaning into it for our curls, okay? And we're gonna switch our legs halfway through. So we're gonna start with your heaviest, or I'm sorry, your lightest weight for the most reps. So we are doing 15 reps. So let's go down on our knees, or knee, lean into it. Let's do 15. One, same thing, nice and slow down. Two, three, four, good, five, Six, seven, good, this is eight, let's switch knees, it's about halfway, all right, lean into it, good, keep going, let's keep back, good, Eleven, twelve, three seconds down, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good job. That was fifteen. Now we're going to do twelve, so get something a little heavier. I'm going to grab one more set of weights. All right, so I'm adding a couple pounds. These ones are a little bit heavier. You wanna go heavier each time. We're gonna do the same thing as we did all the other exercises, but with 12 reps. So add a little bit in there. All right, back on our knee. Six reps on one, six on the other. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're leaning a little bit. And six, switch legs. On your knee, leaning into it. Give me six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good job. I'm gonna go heavier for our last two. So go up. It should hurt. We have eight. Eight, two, or two sets of eight reps. All right. Let's grab our dumbbells. Down on one knee. We're gonna do four on each. Lean in. Good, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Switch legs. Four more here. One. Two. Three. 
three, one more, four, good. Take a little break. We're gonna do another set of eight. Give you a few seconds. It's our last set of eight. Then we just have a, a little burnout and we're done. Almost there. All right, let's get back to our knee. Four on each side. Give me four. One. Two. Three. And four. Good. Switch knees. On your knee. Leaning forward. One. Two. Three. Last one. Four. Awesome work. All right, we just have a little burnout. You're gonna need a set of dumbbells and then your bench. So we're gonna do three rounds, 30 seconds on, 10 second break of Renegade Rose to a dumbbell pullover. So if you have a bench that you can lay on for the dumbbell pullover, you can get a much deeper, let me show you, lay on the bench. You can get a lot deeper and then pull it over. You also can just lay on the ground and do the same thing. Just lay down and pull it all the way over, okay? You can just get a little bit deeper if you have the bench. So let me start the timer. We are gonna do three rounds. Starting with our renegade rows. So the renegade row, you're in your plank position and you're rowing up each side, okay? Switching arms each time. Here we go. 30 seconds on, renegade row, and then right to your dumbbell pullover. Plank position, row it up. Switch sides every time. Good job. Almost there. Try to keep your, your body steady. Don't want to rock too much back and forth. All right, get on the bench. We're on the ground if you don't have a bench. We are dumbbell pullover. So if you can, all the way down and back up. Get that deep pull with the bench or lay on the ground if you do not have something to lay on. Good job. Almost there. Down and pulling it over. Renegade Rose. 10 seconds, get back in position. Try to keep your booty down and not rock back and forth too much. Rowing up each time. Switching hands, good job. Ten seconds left here. Whew. Dumbbell pullover. Ten seconds goes quick. Down and over. Good. Good job. It's almost the end of round two. 
One more round after this. One more round. Let's do our renegade rows. Last time. So our last 30 seconds here. We have less than a minute of work left. Keep going. All right, one more time. Come up, pullovers. Here we go. Over, all the way down. Good job. All the way over. Awesome job. today okay let's just do a cross body stretch get a lot of a lot of arms today switch sides when you're ready it's a lot of a lot of chest and biceps and back muscles reach over Grab your elbow. Good. Switch sides. Awesome job. Good. Let's get down on our knees. We're gonna thread the needle. So you're gonna be in tabletop. One arm up and thread it through your arm. Really lean into it and stretch out your back. Good, lean onto that shoulder, stretching it out. Switch arms when you're ready. Back to tabletop, one arm up and reach it through. Pushing into that arm. Good. All right, stand back up. Just do some arm swings. Make sure we loosen them up again. Great work today. Take a big deep breath. Exhale. Make sure you're drinking your water. Eat your protein. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs>